Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. Greetings. Ali Shamma here. Welcome outdoors and welcome to the review of Flywing Airwolf. In this video, I'm going to give you as much information as I can about this new beautiful V2.5 Airwolf fuselage. And of course, inside will be FW450 V3. Let's talk about it. Let me tell you what I like about it, what has improved, and what Flywing can still improve more. This will be the fuselage also available at RC Going. Links are in video description. You can check it out. So if you have an FW450 V3 just like I had mine, you can just take the fuselage and easily put your FW450 V3 inside, turn it into this beautiful Airwolf. Now let's talk about what has improved. Number one, I feel, yes, I was flying it just now. I feel that the fuselage has lost weight. Yes, which is very, very good. So they have shed some weight out of it and it's, lighter than before number two yes check it out if you bring the camera closer you will notice that now we don't have those cartoonish gray scale windows closed windows now we have transparent windows happy that flywing has listened to us and they gave us these clear windows so now those who want to design 3d print uh cockpit uh, accessories you know instrument panels they want to put pilots inside well now you can do that because you will be able to see the, them pilots and stuff inside. On the outside, as you have noticed, one more thing that improved and I'm very, very happy about it is that you have now a lot of air vents. So there's a lot of airflow inside. There's no way your V4 uh, ESC and your motor is going to heat up anymore. So notice this. First off, on top right here where the ESC, you can see the heat sinks inside, okay? So right on top of the ESC, they have cut four little vents here. So it will, you know, rotor is blowing air inside, keeping the ESC cool. Now we have one, two, three, four. These are our standard air vents. And on top here, as you can see, they have a lot of cutouts here with a kind of net in it. And this is a lot of, lot of airflow for your electronics. For motor ESC, now there's a lot more airflow and they are staying very, very cool. I just had one battery full flight and I'm happy to report that ESC and motors were just warm, not heating up anymore. Before I noticed, they did heat up. Okay, on the bottom, there's nothing, of course. I have put my 3D printed guns here, but I forgot to put the... Uh, uh, rocket pod I cannot find it once again for the wheels as you can see they are still fixed one I hope flywing can introduce the retracts later now another improvement as you can see that before when I 3d printed my accessories I 3d printed these vertical fins for these horizontal stabilizers okay and now flywing has provided you these standard in this fuselage so all in all I would say it has improved a lot and I'm happy to see the new looks on it. Now let's fly it. I give you a quick flight demo and see how it goes. Okay, I'm flying it with my new Radio Master TX16S Mark II Max Edition. I'm running 80% head speed. GPS position hold is nice and good. I'll go back a bit. Circle mode. Auto circle mode. Flight mode.
Look at that. Normal mode. And now I'm gonna switch it to my favorite attitude mode. So as I notice, the fuselage is lighter now and it's better flying performance. You see, the pro light is just simply awesome. looking for the most trustable and well-tested parameters of FLP 450V3 Airwolf helicopter. I have already posted some videos about this and also my settings so you can always get them. Links are in the new description. Okay, I'm gonna switch to 3D mode. That's where it will fall a bit down, so I'll give it the leverage. This is complete manual now. This is where you need to have skills. as well, loops and rolls, just like Errol is able to do, and GPS marks. We have this baby, it's quite a nice GPS hold actually. All right, people, let's land it. For the landing, I always like to go give it a spin and, you know, bring it back nice and fast. Break. That was a beautiful stance right there. And now we're going to settle it down. So we just finished our flight, uh, I flew it for 5 minutes as you have just watched and now remove the telemetry last. battery, disconnect the battery and before I'm gonna be very very honest here okay I flew it in China with the old fuselage which didn't have the vents and it was the same FW450 V3 in that fuselage and I had the motor much more heat up and ESC much more heat up than what they are today. Today we are here, right here outside in the desert. We have about 25 degrees uh, Celsius uh, temperature. And I can see after five minutes of flight, it's just normal warm, normal warm and no heating up at all. So the new vents that Flyving has provided, they are being very, very helpful in keeping the power combo cool. Now this one, the vertical stabilizer is still, Flywing is providing you this one, but you will have to cut it right here, okay, and stick it with the double-sided tape. If you want to do the screws, you can do, but that's a lot of work. If you don't want to add this, your motor is installed on the same, uh, you know, original uh, Genion FW450V3 vertical fin, so just keep it that way is also okay, but it will look like a little bit of, you know, thin, or something missing on the air wolf right here. Very good improvement right here. Now, what we can expect Flywing to improve from this one, uh, one thing that I noticed is this, that before the tail boom was slightly longer and was ending up here, so I was able to put one screw in to secure the tail. Otherwise, the tail is free and it will move because tail locks down here on the module, but here it's, there's nothing and it will move. So Flywing, now this one is a bit shorter please keep the same length like before 
so we'll be able to put a screw otherwise we have to drill a new hole inside the tail boom of the FW450 V3 to secure it but anyway there's always an alternative uh, the solution what I did I did the I took the clear uh, transparent double-sided tape and I just filled it all the way around and this secures the tape really nice okay one more thing fly wing I would like you to improve is that now it fits very well it flies very well but as you can see there's a little bit of play because all the screws are going into the wood and wood eventually gets softer over time so you can see the power combo moves left and right okay the whole module moves left and right and if the blades are not balanced you will have those oscillations ground resonance very easy helicopter get into ground resonance so i would suggest flywing that like before i remember there were two screws one here and one here with something coming from the fuselage with the wooden pieces to secure this fuselage right here and that is something we want you to supply us again just make it an add-on for the newer production so that this module will not move left and right there will be no play in it in the future but like in the beginning when it's brand new you put it there's no problem but over time wood gets loose and there will be problems so if we had those two screws right here on the back to secure the top of this module then we will not have the ground resonance upon takeoff when the helicopter is spooling up or spooling down. All right, people, thank you very much for watching this video. This is the Flywing Airwolf V2.5, also available in ready-to-fly versions, or if you have FW450 V3, just get yourself a V2.5 fuselage, and you will have this beautiful Airwolf in your hands. If you're looking for 3D printed accessories, all the links are in video descriptions as well. Stay tuned for more videos coming your way. If you have any questions, if you have any feedback, feel free to comment on this video. I'll be more than happy to answer all those questions. And in near future, of course, after a couple of flights, I will also go ahead and do a live show right from outdoors. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work. That I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Oh, <laughs>